We have three methods of enthalpy changes calculation. A. Using formula which is a direct method. The formula is a standard enthalpy change is equal to the sum of standard enthalpy change of product minus standard enthalpy change of reactant. B. The second method is algebraic method. This is an indirect method. To use this method, we need to understand the rules of using thermochemical equation and the concept of Hayes' law. C. The third method is energy cycle method. It is also an indirect method, but we will focus only on method of A and B. Standard conditions for calculating enthalpy changes. The numerical value of enthalpy change is influenced by five factors. A. The temperature at which the experiment is carried out. B. The physical states, solid, liquid, or gas of the reactants. For example, the reaction between solid iodine and hydrogen is endothermic, but the reaction between gases iodine and hydrogen is exothermic. C. The allotropic forms of the reactant. Allotropic is the different forms of an element. For example, two allotropic forms of the element carbon are graphite and diamond. They are dramatically different not only in properties but also in their relative cost. D. The pressure of the gases reactants. E. The concentration of the reactants. Again, as we discussed earlier, the standard conditions for measuring enthalpies are number 1. Temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. 2. Pressure of 1 atm. And 3. Solutions having a concentration of 1 mole per dm cube. Formula method or direct method to calculate enthalpy change. Considering we have an equation of A mol of A react with B mol of B produce C mol of C and D mol of D. So here is the formula to calculate the enthalpy change for the given reaction. The sum of enthalpy of products minus the sum of standard enthalpy of reactants. In this case, standard enthalpy of reaction equal to C times standard enthalpy of formation of C plus D times standard enthalpy of formation of D minus A times standard enthalpy of formation of A plus B times standard enthalpy of formation of B. Lowercase a, B, C, and D are the mole coefficient for the equation. The question is, where can we get the value of standard enthalpy change of formation for each substance? You can just simply obtain the value from the table as in the next slide. But please be careful with the physical state of each substance since different state will give different value of standard enthalpy of formation. Continue from the previous slide. Look at the value of standard enthalpy of formation for water highlighted in red color. Water in gas form is negative 241.8 kJ per mole, different from the value of standard enthalpy of formation of water in liquid form, which is negative 285.8 kJ per mole. Before we discuss more on the algebraic method, we need to understand the rules 
in using thermochemical equation. Number one, the stoichiometric coefficient is always referred to the number of moles of a substance. For example, here, one mole of water in solid form produce one mole of water in liquid form. Number two, if you reverse a reaction, the sign of delta H must also be changed. For example, from equation number one, delta H is 6.01 kilojoule per mole. Delta H need to be changed to negative 6.01 kilojoule per mole because we have flipped the reaction. Number three, if you multiply both sides of, e of the equation by a factor n, then delta H must be multiplied by the same factor n. Rules number four, the physical states of all reactants and products must be specified in thermochemical equations. Many compounds cannot be directly synthesized from their elements. In some cases, the reaction proceeds too slow or side reaction produce unwanted compound. In these cases, standard enthalpy of formation can be determined by an indirect method which is Hess's law. Hess's law states that when reactants are converted to products, the change in enthalpy is the same whether the reaction takes place in one step or in, a, or in a series of steps provided the initial and final conditions are the same. Enthalpy is a state function which means it only depends on the initial and final states and not the path taken by the reaction. Hess's Law Algebraic Method The heat evolved or absorbed in a chemical process is the same whether the process takes place in one or in several steps. Point number two, delta H1 shows the magnitude of the single step reaction and delta H2 and delta H3 when combined are equivalent to delta H1, demonstrating Hess's law. As we can see in the figure, methane reacts with oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and water molecule. This is a combustion reaction. In a single step reaction, the value of enthalpy is negative 890 kilojoule. Instead of single step reaction, the figure is also shown that the reaction is carried out in multiple steps. The value of enthalpy change is 1 is negative 800, 802 kilojoule and negative 88 kilojoule for delta H2 and delta H3 respectively. The sum of delta H2 and delta H3 is 800 is negative 890 kilojoule similar to delta H1 value. Algebraic method can be applied as indirect method to calculate value of enthalpy change. There are five steps involved in solving enthalpy change problem. Number one, balance the individual equations. Number two, if necessary, look up standard enthalpies. Then, flip equations around is, if necessary, to cancel out terms on opposite sides. Next, changing the equation around requires a sign change of the H of that individual steps. Last, sum up the individual steps. This figure summarizes Hess's law. It shows there are two roots of reactions, root 1 and root 2. 
both roots are to react between A and B to produce C and D. Root 1 is referred as a direct root and root 2 is an indirect root which consists of two steps of reaction and produce delta H2 and delta H3. The value of delta H1 equal to delta H2 plus delta H3. This diagram is often called an enthalpy, enthalpy cycle. Calculate the standard enthalpy of the transition of the carbon in graphite form to carbon in diamond form. There are two equations given to us. The first equation is carbon in graphite form react with oxygen produce carbon dioxide. The value of standard enthalpy change is negative 393.5 kJ per mole. And the second equation is carbon dioxide decomposed into carbon in diamond form plus oxygen. And the value of standard enthalpy change is positive 395.41 kJ per mole. This is the direct root. Or in simple word, this is the equation we want to produce from the two equation given to us. To solve the problem, we need to apply the five steps as we discussed earlier. Step number one, we need to check whether the, whether the two equations given to us are balanced or not. In this case, both equations are balanced. Number two, no need to flip an equation because it is possible to cancel out a couple terms as is. To cancel the species, they need to recite on the opposite directions. Number three, cancelling out the, the oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now, we already have same equation as the direct root. This one, sorry. And number four, we need to write the overall reaction and sum up the, the two enthalpies together. Negative 393.5 kJ per mole plus 395.41 kJ per mole. And the values of enthalpy change for this reaction is positive. 1.91 kJ per mole and it is an endothermic reaction. Here we have another example. Calculate the enthalpy formation of methane, CH4. The equation we want to produce is 1 mole of methane react with 1 mole of water produce 1 mole carbon monoxide plus 3 mole of hydrogen. From this question, we are given two steps of equations or reactions. First one is carbon monoxide react with 1 mole of hydrogen and produce carbon in graphite form plus 1 mole of H2O produce uh, sorry, the value of standard enthalpy change is negative 131.3 kJ. The second reaction is carbon in graphite form react with 2 mole of hydrogen, produce 1 mole methane, 
and the value for standard enthalpy change is negative 74.8 kilojoule. <coughs> In order to solve the problem, we need to apply the steps involved in solving enthalpy change problems as we discussed before. Step number one, we need to balance the individual equations for both reactions. For this case, both equations are balanced. Step number two, Flip equations around if necessary to cancel out terms on opposite sides. Equation number one need to be flipped because carbon monoxide and hydrogen at main equation are on the product side. Equation number two also need to be flipped because methane, methane on the main equation is on the left side on the reactant side. Next, changing the equation around requires a sign change of the H of that individual steps. Don't forget the steps. Because you have flipped equation number one and two, so the sign of enthalpy for both equation need to be changed also. So the standard enthalpy change of equation number one from negative 131.3 kilojoule change to positive 131.3 kilojoule and for the second standard enthalpy change need to be changed to positive 74.8 kilojoule. Please bear in your mind, the species to be cancelled must be on opposite sides. Last step is to sum up the individual steps. Now, check the steps we discussed in previous slide and try to answer the question in the next slide. Good luck!